Maybe you can talk a little bit about your experience with the legal compliance area. It basically in compliance operations, that unit focused specifically on data and models. And my career trajectory has been interesting. I've been a data lawyer since before that was a thing. Um, it first started out getting data sets from countries that didn't allow the, um, at the export of data or dealing with complex data sets that are subject to export controls. And then I started to see people asking questions during due diligence or divestitures about who owns the data, is this valuable, and trying to get some, some real understanding of what the value of data was. We then started to see the rise of data aggregators. And so I've worked on both sides of this business. So I started out working for sellers. And a good way to understand um, that role is that a seller of data is creating a product. It's a, it's a product council role. You know, is the product fit for use? Can we make certain representations? Can we make certain warranties? And that's been true in financial services, in healthcare, in pharma, and actually in heavy industry for a very long time. Um, those industries have really needed data to really advance their own products and business cases. In this industry, it's, it's interesting. Um, data has increasingly been subject to regulatory scrutiny. Um, both directly through, for example, the SEC's programs on alternative data, but also increasingly as firms are using this data to make investments, they're talking about that in their public filings, and that needs to be true.